Welcome to Metaphysical Happy Hour. Cheers, everyone. Um, I'm your host, Cassie Clayton, and uh, thank you everyone for joining us. Um, it, let us know in the chat that A, you're here and where you're from so we can start saying hi to everyone. Um, I also want to give a huge shout out to my co-host because ah. yesterday was her birthday. And so <laughs> we want to definitely say happy birthday. Um, uh, and also, I just want to say thank you so much for 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 jumping on this adventure with me. Oh, and absolutely. jumping on the show. So, um, but yeah, definitely happy birthday! Cheers to you. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, I'm not getting any older. I'm just celebrating the birthdays and saying, "Hey, I'm staying the same." <laughs> <laughs> and I am excited about this adventure with you. And I know that we're going to have a great year. So, hey, awesomeness. All right. Cheers. Oh, so, um, yeah. yeah. So, what, is your, what does that say? Um, so, I'm drinking champagne tonight. Um, and my glass says sexy, smart, and full of heart. <laughs> I love it. I love it, especially because the topic of today, and I'm drinking rose because we're going to be talking about rose quartz. So, awesome, awesome. Okay, should we say hello to everybody that's popping on? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I think, Deanna, thank you so much. She's saying happy birthday. Terry is as well. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. They're they're beginning to pop on all of a sudden. Thank you, thank you. I love seeing all these friendly faces on Facebook. All right, should all right. So what we're going to do, nice to see you both. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, hey, thank Leslie. you. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, I was just gonna say, just take it a give. Oh, there's Tina. Hi, Tina. How are you? Tina, Tina. We, we have discovered that with Be Live and Facebook, there was some kind of change with the program or something. And so that's kind of why we've been getting kicked off every week um, as we start our show and then we get kicked off and it starts it again. So anyway, um, just in case we do get kicked off, we wanna just let everybody know, don't worry, we will be right back should that happen. Um, we're, we're crossing fingers and <laughs> hoping it doesn't, but and don't know. go anywhere. Come back. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, yeah. I do want to. I want to say something. We uh, we both kind of wore the same color. We so did. More, we do not discuss before we come on. <laughs> <laughs> and we did. It's it's about the same. It's about the same. All right. Should we do our drawing? Absolutely. Okay. All right, so why don't you, while I do this, why don't you explain to everybody what the drawing is all about? Oh my goodness. And I'll, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and hide myself while you explain it, and then I'll spin sure. it, okay, so that other people, y'all can see it better. <laughs> it's okay. Sounds good. okay, so what the draw, what, how we do the drawing is um, anyone who has helped share our show um, or made comments with us live during during the show we've added your name um we were just going to do it with the people who shared the show but we decided to open it up and so we uh, if you've made a live comment with us or if you've gone um and done um the if you shared our show or anything like that to show us support we have um added your name to the wheel and that um, Michelle is now going to spin and choose a name. And when she does choose a name, um, that person is going to be able to select a reading from either myself or Michelle. Um, oh, it's Neil. Awesome. Um, very cool. So we will um, be, I don't see Neil on here just as of yet, but we will let her know. Um, <laughs> Uh, that she is one. <laughs> it's like we so need you know, streamers or yeah. something to say celebrate. All right, let's go ahead and do it. So your rosé and my champagne. Woohoo! Camille, thank you Definitely. so much for your support. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Debbie, how are you, my dear? Hope you are doing good tonight. All right. Should we get onto our topic about the rose quartz? Yes. So. 
being, being that we're kind of in the month of love, we're not quite close enough to Valentine's Day that I was like, let's do a Valentine's Day themed one. But plus, I always tend to call it like Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Even though my birthday's this month as well, like it's not necessarily my favorite holiday. So I just was like, we'll just go with rose quartz. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, because rose quartz really is, it's the universal stone of love. Um, it is, it's something that helps that working with the stone can help restore trust and harmony in relationships. Um, it can purify and open the hearts at all levels. It can promote self-love. Um, self-love which is su which i think a lot of us um tend to forget about a lot of the time um it can help with friendships it can help with deep inner healing and feelings of peace it helps um to for to help comfort in times of grief dispels negative energy and protects against environmental pollution replacing it with loving vibes. It encourages self-forgiveness and acceptance, invoking self-trust and self-worth. Um, where you can find more information about Rose Quartz is from Terms of Light, which was down at the bottom of that graphic. Um, so, uh, and it's where I pulled the information from for tonight, so. I got a question though. Do you know where you get the best crystals right now from the Rose Quartz? You know what country is has the best ones? Let me no. see if you know this. All right. So it's Brazil, which I didn't know that because I was also doing some research because I like kind of tidbits of research that way as well. Um, also, um, the Egyptians, which this is why I need to have tons around my house. Egyptians believe the stone could prevent aging. So say oh. it, you know, everybody that doesn't want to age, that is the best way <laughs> you get all that energy. And I want to show you a picture that I found too, because this will definitely, oh my goodness. Well, let me find that picture. I don't know. Maybe it just disappeared. But what I found was a bat, a, it was a, a waterfall that had uh, rose quartz all over it. And I thought that's exactly what I need for my house. Um, so that, you know, I don't age at all. Just celebrate those birthdays, right? Um, so Absolutely. to activate a rose quartz, do you do anything special whenever with your, any of your crystals? Um, sometimes I just set the intention. Um, so, um, and actually it's kind of funny because as, as we're going into the show, this actually is kind of a perfect perfect timing to be talking about rose quartz. Um, it's just, um, I, I think I just more or less, I set an intention with it. Right. Um, right. Not so much activating. My, my, my kitten has decided to join. <laughs> hey, your cat wants to say something about, you know, ro rose quartz. It is perfect. I know we've got a lot of people mm -hmm. out there that love cats or animals in particular. <laughs> so hello, hello. So yeah, and what I also uh, saw that to activate it, and just like what you were saying is you set the intention and they said you you can talk to it, you can get your sage and kind of get the smoke around it and it kind of clears it as well. And then moon, you know, uh, moonlight. And somebody also mm -hmm. says soak them in salted warm water. That's another thing that I did say. So you are correct. Yes, awesome. And I think everybody has a certain way to activate them and, I didn't, you know, it's the first thing I've learned about crystals is that you have to activate them. And then whatever crystal that you go into store and you're drawn to, um, that is the crystal that you need because it's almost like, you know, decks, card decks, Oracle cards that are drawn, right. you're drawn to, that's what you need in your life. And it's that energy that you get from all the crystals. And um, again, I didn't know much about crystals, but I'm learning. So do you have a bunch of crystals? Do I have a bunch yeah. of crystals? Right. Oh, I have a good number of them, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you had to estimate, how many do you think you have? Oh. Because I know that once you start got, getting into crystals, you tend to buy lots of them. Because I know a lot of friends that are really into crystals. So I will say for a while, my collection was, con I, I actually have not purchased crystals in a while. Um, and a lot of the crystals I've, I've turned around and I've given them as gifts. 
um, over the years. So, but I mean, my, like, I mean, if you walk into my house, there's a decent number of crystals <laughs> in my home. Well, why don't we ask everybody out there, how many, if you have a crystal, how many crystals do you have? Because I know that if you, we want you to be a part of the show, and while you you comment how many crystals you have, and, and not only rose quartz, but any type of crystal, here's the picture I was going to show you. See um, those crystals up there, the rose quartz, and the water's coming down, and I'm thinking, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. can you imagine all the energy that's around water too that picks it all up <clears throat> okay so um we're getting some comments i'm going to go ahead and hide this um i'm crazy crystal crazy personal uh person once i started i couldn't stop yep that's what i hear and i've heard that the crystals you know the smooth crystals that you can buy are not as energetic are the ones that you you find raw that have not been touched like this and so, you know, I don't, I don't have any just raw crystals, but they're more expensive. Oh, um, don't know what to get. All right. So just what we said, go into a metaphysical store and kind of, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll have lots of crystals and you go, you pick them up and you figure out which one is calling your name, you know, and you will be drawn to whatever crystal you want. Do you agree? Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely agree. Um, and actually, sometimes, just every once in a while, I've I've actually heard that um, like someone will be like, oh, I just really dislike this one crystal. Like, have a very strong disliking for it. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> and sometimes, some so it can work in reverse. The one that you're you're like just go saying no, I don't want this. I don't want it. I don't want it. Usually, those are also those are the ones that you actually need the most. So, that's, very, as well. that's very good. That's very good. So, um, um, Leslie says three. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. I probably, oh my goodness, look at Terry. <laughs> nice. Around a hundred. What, what, you know, I, I know crystals are important with energy, but you know, you never know how. <laughs> that's awesome, though. I bet your house is just like all this energy mm -hmm. around. I found a piece uh, of selenite. Cool. On oh my my it's so cool. That's awesome, Michelle. That is really cool. I like that. I like that. It's my addiction. Yeah, we all have love addictions. <laughs> well, I have to say, if you're gonna be addicted, yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world to be addicted to. Let me show you what I get addicted to. I know I like crystals too, but bobbleheads. Oh. I have like 100, 120 bobbleheads, but we won't go there. Okay. <laughs> and then uh, Sammy says, I totally agree. Enjoy the raw crystals over the palm stones. Yes. Oh, that's what they're called. Okay. I think I have about 100 as well. So see? Um, and then I'm with Terry. I keep getting them as gifts. Yeah. Awesome. 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 All right. So Cassie, I think... Um, Oh, I know what we were going to also talk about that. I know you probably mentioned it, but with this crystal rose quartz, it really, you know, coordinates with the heart chakra. And I know that there's a picture here. Did you want to explain this picture? And then we'll go ahead and do readings. after sure. that. Okay. So, um, and, and rose quartz definitely is associated with the heart chakra. There's actually two, Two, two colors of crystals that will coordinate with the heart chakra, pink and green. So I did kind of make this graphic green to kind of balance that out. Um, but the heart chakra, it, it enables a loving contact with fellow human beings on the relation of like me, you. It nurtures the sense of community by stimulating self-awareness. A balanced heart chakra can also make it easier for a person to establish ties with other people while excluding all egotistical interests for doing so. So it really helps you kind of like make those relationships not based on like, uh, you know, some some people will look at someone and be like, oh, what can you do or not do for me? And and the, working with your heart chakra really l l lets you look at things more from a perspective of the person just for who they are. And, um, you know, it, it helps promote love and humanity and um, just all sorts of other great things. Absolutely. I gave, I had a uh, rose quartz that was shaped as a heart 
And I gave it to my youngest because she was kind of going through an emotional time and I never got it back, but, but hopefully that really helped her. So, all right. So why don't we do this? Let's open it up and just, you know, say, let's open it up so we can get some healing going on and some readings and, you know, just leave it up to spirit and see what happens next. So Cassie, why don't you go ahead and pick somebody that, um, and let us know if you want a reading and we're just doing psychic reading tonight. Okay. Yes. And who, who doesn't need guidance, you know, daily. <laughs> exactly. exactly. So if you are on and you are open to receiving a reading, um, please go ahead and put a comment in the comments. Um, I'm back to using my fairy deck again. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Cool. So I'm fun. using something a little bit different, you know, talking about cards. Um, I haven't really used my angel therapy to rain virtue. And so I thought, you know, we're doing the one card pool and I thought I might as well just do that. And who doesn't need angel therapy too, right? right. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so go, go, go ahead and pick. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to go with Sammy Wagner. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Sammy. It's all right, Deanna. There you go. Okay. Oh, sorry. Wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> We're working. We're figuring it out. <laughs> All right. So the card that I drew for you, it is called, um, it is pure intention. Um, and with this card, the, um, it's the very manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with your, with pure intention for the highest good of all. So that's, um, you know, and really, truly what I what I see in this card is and what I'm being drawn for is um, just to, to me, the this card, it has a lot of like peace with it. Like the word I'm getting is peace. So um, and she's just a very peaceful image. And so I think that just um, I, I feel like you do reach out with to people with very pure intention. And I do feel like you. Um, you know, that does help you manifest um, the things that you want in your life. Just be careful about, because you do reach out with such pure intention, just be careful about um, who you do that with and, and who you're super open with. That's... Beautiful, beautiful. Awesome, awesome. All right. So while uh, Cassie's doing reading and vice versa, what we do is we tap into your energy. And, um, and it's interesting because Cassie and I tend to get kind of the same, you know, messages. So you can tell we're kind of able to kind of connect together as well. So it's all about energy, I think is what we're talking about tonight. But Sammy, what I was really getting with your energy is, you know, it just this light energy, very optimistic um, that you just, you know, you look at, I guess we say that the glass is um, uh, half full because you look, always look at the positive things in life. And which is, is actually awesome because I think when people get to know you, you kind of, you know, pe people go, wow, she's very optimistic. Maybe I need to be as well. You just shine that way. And so, um, and I know that sometimes when you feel like you're not in control, that's when you kind of get a little bit stressful and the optimi being optimistic and being very positive kind of takes the back seat. But I don't think it happens that much. Um, but I know that, you know, you're one that always wants to be in control. <laughs> but, you know, who is it? let me see, give you a, um, an angel card. And what I started doing is I'm kind of shuffling and I'm going to see if one card comes out and that will be your card. All right. So, and I do have to put my glasses on, you know, I did have a birthday yesterday, right, Cassie? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Books. So your life person, purpose involves writing, reading, editing, or selling spiritually based books. And that interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. And, I, and a lot of times too, whenever, you know, a card is that specific. Um, and what I'm really getting from that is that you are very spiritual and that 
you know, it is a good thing if you write down things like in a journal every day or once in a while and get your thoughts. You may be one that, you know, as you're thinking through something that you need to go ahead and write it down is what I'm getting with your message. And who knows, maybe, you know, whatever you, you keep in your journal, uh, maybe you can sell it and become an author, right? <laughs> so I hope this resonates with you, Sammy. All right, raise the glass, girl, and keep that optimism up. All right. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That was probably very, very loud. Okay. All right, let me know. If you are still here, all right. And so, what I'm doing, okay, Sammy. Let me say, tell you what, Sammy. Uh, um, um, both are on. Yes, I always want to be in control, and I go a little goofy when it goes crazy. I do find that writing a strong suit and I work so much out that way. Awesome. So Sammy, awesome, awesome. Yeah, spirit is great, isn't it? And Tammy, don't worry about being late. All right. So since I'm up, I'm going to go ahead and choose next and we'll kind of go vice versa. Um, I did have somebody up higher I was about to click on before I saw that. And it's actually uh, Terry. Okay. All right, Terry, what I'm doing is I'm getting with you. You know, I tonight, Cassie, what I'm really feeling is the, you know, it's interesting how a lot of uh, people that get on kind of have that same type of energy. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm getting from Terry. And I think... Um, I'm getting that her energy is a lot of fun, that <laughs> that she would be the person that anybody would call, you know, to go out somewhere um, because mm -hmm. you are that fun to be with. Um, and I think, and I'm getting, okay, so I'm also getting that you're kind of that person that, you know, people go, wow, you know, kind of a, get a little jealous of you because you are so, in, um, so fun to be around and just, you know, and, put together real well and everything else, even though you don't feel like you do. <laughs> so, all right. So let me go ahead and get a card. And I think uh, where you are right now, the reason why you're needing, wanting some guidance is just to see what happens. You know, some people are really needing it and it's like with you, it's nice to get guidance but then I think you're going to decide on your own what to do, <laughs> which is good. Okay. So, all right. So this card, it says past life issue. And it says this situation has a basis in one of your previous lifetimes. Ask your angels to help you remember, release, learn, and heal from your past experiences. So what I'm getting from this card is you have something that you have been working on in the past. And I think it's something with childhood that has happened back then. And it, it sometimes when you think you're not thinking about it anymore, you get triggered and you kind of go back. So it is a past life issue is what the card is saying. So you may want to look at that. And maybe it's something that you haven't looked at before. And say so maybe that's why, you know, that is my life lesson. And maybe I'm learning from it. And how can I go on so I'm not triggered again? All right. So hopefully this helps for you. All right, Cassie. I'm going to switch now. Okay. Um, all right, Tammy. And the tree, the, uh, the tree, I did pull the tree wisdom card. So um, that is the card that I pulled for you. Um, the, what, it, what it says on the, as the message is, this tree dryad will help you navigate through the current situation. Her flute can reveal insights and answers through the sounds it makes. So two things that come to mind when I view this card. One is the, um, it is the connection to nature, um, her being outside as well as music. And I feel like, even sometimes there, like there are times where, um, just like being out in nature, getting that grounding 
um, a lot of the times, like just going for a walk or going to the thing to, uh, like a lot of the times, I'll, like I will say, like I'll walk, I'll walk until the only thing I hear in my head is the sound of my own footsteps. Because once I'm kind of in that space, then I can actually start tuning into the things around me and really getting into those messages. And to me, that's very kind of cathartic. Um, so I, I think that being being outside and being around nature, um, and also just, um, it also, this card has that connection to music as well. So just keeping those, um, you know, so I don't know if you're really drawn to music, um, but just remembering, remembering to kind of find the joy in that and kind of allowing, it, it'll allow you to kind of relax a little bit and work, um, work through that emotional stuff that you've got going on. So. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I think, I think music is so universal that you know it does it does a lot of healing all right all right okay. <laughs> i was just reading what debbie has okay yeah, i was reading the exact same thing i was like wait a second <laughs> so go all ahead right choose on the next one so um actually since we were both drawn to debbie do you want to pull her up absolutely absolutely and while you do that um, I am going to get a different set of cards. Okay. 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 So, so go ahead and I'm going to disappear for a minute, but I'll come back. And whatever you're, Whatever your question right now, we are find the answer in the book. So where can you find the review of the book? So, um, can I I'm sorry, can you repeat that? You were kind of going out a little bit. Okay, yeah, I yeah. Sure. It's kind of like you got muffled, and I don't know why. And so it's kind of, I don't know if they did the same thing. But if you don't mind repeating. Sure, absolutely. Um, let me... So I'll, I'll repeat that. It's um, look in a book and whatever your question right now, you'll find the answer in a book. The words you find will bring you, will bring the insight you seek. And basically this, this fairy is very much being drawn to the book, but just like the smile on her face, just like, she's like all, to me, it's like, oh yeah, that's amazing. So I feel like, um, you know, if really what I, what kind of comes to mind is like, I actually have like a couple books around my house and they're, they're, they're books that just have quotes in them. Um, and like one's about confidence, one's about, um, you know, your daily guidance and it's 365 days, um, of, like positive quotes. And so I almost feel like something like that. Um, and the fact that I'm thinking of those things, it's more of like, just remember to be confident. Just remember to, um, you know, you're, you're, you're asking about how guidance on how to nail it. Know that you already kind of, you already have the knowledge. Um, so just go in there with confidence. Um, and like, if you need to like grab a, grab grab the grab a book of quotes and like turn the page and get get some like high energy and inspiration before you walk in the door but but i feel like you have the knowledge that you need for this and so just do it and and move forward i i do feel like you you have a pretty strong um i feel like you're a very strong candidate for this job and that you're very well qualified for it. So, and um, I, I was I was getting basically, you know, it's very interesting, very something similar that you know, I I take it that she's kind of nervous about it, and like you said, she she's got um, the skills to do it, but it's like you know anything else when you you feel like you go to interview, you feel like you're being 
but you are being critiqued a little bit. Um, but just, that's what she, Cassie was saying, go in there very confident. So what I did is I went ahead and got these Letterman cards and they tend to be more specific um, about a question if you have a question. And so, you know, I the main question was, um, what advice can you give to her whenever she goes into the job? And what it looked like in the past is that you've had some, some peace um, with a lot of jobs. However, um, they got old very quickly and it's like you have a mountain and mountains can be, you know, you have up and down peaks and everything. So it's been kind of tough for you in the past, but the way that you're looking um, is that, um, it's a compass, okay? And so you'll really know if this is meant for you. You get to choose if you want this job or not. It's like you interview, but you're also interviewing them, right? So you'll be able to see your true north. And I think this interview will give you, and look at this, lots of luck. <laughs> I love it. So it's like whatever you wish for, you will get, you will manifest. So uh, like Cassie said, go in. I think it's going to be a good experience for you. And I think you get to choose. You know, you get to say you, you're the one that's going to be totally control, even though they might think they are. <laughs> All right. So wish you luck. And I send you lots of lots of um, confidence. And just, you know, before you go in, you know, pray or do whatever you do to feel good about it. All right. All right, let me see who's next. Oh, thank you. I say hi, happy birthday, Michelle. Love the oh, Marini of both. And I hope, am I saying that right? Marini? Alicia. Uh, and that is Tell Alicia uh, Myronuk. Okay. Yes. Okay. And we will ask I you to trouble with her last name. And I am so sorry. She's, she's oh, an it sure amazing is. person. She's awesome. Um, We're definitely such a beautiful her podcast on that's irony. So awesome! Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put her her thoughts up there. And girl, look at you in that picture. You're just you know you're happening. <laughs> that's totally. awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Alicia. Okay. Um, You know, it's very interesting. I am actually, and Michelle, you need to let me know if you're still here. Um, I'm definitely being pulled to you, okay? <clears throat> so let me know if you're still here. I'm going to go ahead and try to connect with your energy anyway. And yes, we can do that even if you're not here. <laughs> Okay, so Michelle, what I'm getting from you, and that you know, um, it's a very, very youth, and it's interesting how all everybody again, same type of personality is very youthful. Okay, that you are actually seeing things from a child point of view, um, which is really awesome, you know, just looking at, at something again optimistically. Um, just I just love the energy here. And it's almost like, okay, <laughs> I'm picturing whenever you find, um, whenever you find out something that you're excited about, you're not one just to go, yay, you're one to dance around <laughs> and go, oh, let's go celebrate, you know, because you got so much charisma and so much energy. <laughs> so, so that's what I'm definitely getting from you. Okay. Um, and okay. And also what I'm getting is that whenever you do get some news that are kind of um, not good, that you don't want to hear, you go just the opposite. You feel every moment of it. Okay. And um, yeah, but then you rise up, you know what I'm saying? You don't let that like keep you down. Okay. So this really popped out and it says workshops and seminars. And it says, attending and giving speeches as part of your spiritual path and purpose, be open to teaching and learning. And I get that actually. And I think what it is, is while you learn your lessons, get out there and teach others about your experience. It's almost like you're 
motivational speaker. I don't know. Something, you know, tells me that you can get people going because of that charisma. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's so true. Okay, that's good, Michelle. All right. I'm going to leave it to Cassie. Oh, wait. Another right. way. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the, the, the um, Sorry. card that I got was, is stargazing. And I absolutely love the quote that came with this. So it says, when you gaze at the stars, you give yourself fairy focus. Your intention will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know about your situation. Um, and I, <laughs> yes. And so immediately when I pulled this card, I was like, Ah, um, so, and for those that don't know, Michelle Marie is a, um, she does astrological readings. So her, um, part of her work is to look at how the stars align for her and her clients. So I just loved the fact that this, um, uh, that this card came for her. And I really do feel like, you know, it's just, it's, um, just you're you're just so in line in a in alignment and in tune with what you should be doing um with with your readings and um and, and with what you teach and i just think it's going to keep taking you even further and further and further further which i absolutely love for you so that is my reading for you oh that is awesome awesome yeah we need more teachers to keep that enthusiasm. And it's great that you're teaching your passion because that really brings up your spirituality too. All right, so it's your turn to pick this time. Oh, it's my turn to pick. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you get involved in it and you forget, but the re reason why I remember is because I keep you big, you know, my little picture down here. So that's how I remember. Okay. All right, so, okay. Um. Let's see. Um, let's go with Karen, Karen McGoldrick. Okay. Um, and so the card that I pulled for, for this is um, a card that says wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest manifest your heart most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all and this is what the card looks like um so for me this card um what what i'm getting is um I, i'm not entirely sure exactly where you live but like where we live it just got like super cold outside um and so i think that we are kind of in this um time of the year where um, it is kind of keeping us inside. Yes, we've been in a pandemic. Yes, it's been months, um, you know, that we've all kind of been on our own, but it is definitely a time for you to kind of just take the time to really put your decks in a row, figure out what your next steps are gonna be. Really, we're still in the first, like, first one to three months of the year. And, you know, just figuring out what your goals are, how to align them, how to get them, um, like really, what do you, what do you want this year to be? Um, and really what you, what you set your intentions for, like within this month, um, is really going to help you play out the, the, the rest of your year. So I feel like, um, just, just making sure that it's really what you want because you're going to get it. <laughs> so. Awesome. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Okay. And, and it really goes along with what I was getting as well. And Karen, what I'm feeling right now is it, it almost makes me, oh my gosh, it just with your energy right now, it almost brings me to tears. Um, because I know that you're going through a cycle right now. And when I say a cycle, kind of a down cycle. Okay. And so, um, just know that, you know, things are going to look up soon. And just like Cassie was saying, you know, look at your goals for the year, um, and know that it will be okay. 
but I just, you know, I feel a lot of uh, sadness with you right now. And like I said, it's almost like I want to cry with you, you know, and say, get, bring out the Kleenex um, and, and just know it's going to be okay. And just do self love um, and make sure you take care of yourself during this time. And um, actually, you know, the crystal that we're talking about tonight will probably help as well. All right, let me pull a card for you. I'm, I'm seeing which one jumps out first. Oh my gosh, <laughs> a whole deck of them just, now I'm gonna do the top card, okay? Okay, so Archangel Raphael, uh, the healing angel is with you supporting your healing work, okay? So the healing work is for you, my dear, okay? So what you need to do is definitely heal for you. And see how um, Archangel Raphael is bringing you energy. And that's exactly what it is. So definitely um, take care of yourself. Do some, you know, self-healing, self-care. And it will be all right. Things will turn around just like a loop. You know, we have our cycles that we go through. Okay. All right. I hope that resonates with you. And I want to raise my glass to you. Absolutely. Cheers to spirit. Cheers to spirit. Oh, thank you. Pretty lights. <laughs> yeah, they, they make me happy. So that's why I love it. Okay. Um, there is one person and I'm going to see if she's still here, Melissa, um, that was really drawn. Okay. Melissa, let me know if you are still here. Uh, oh, I see the little bear glass. Okay. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to let, I'm going to let Cassie read you first. Okay. Um, I feel, and I just feel like your energy, you're needing some really guidance right now. Um, but I feel like, because I've read you a couple of times, I feel like Cassie needs to read you. And then um, I'll, I'll pull a card for you, okay? So I don't know, I'm just being guided that I think Cassie is going to bring you the message tonight, okay? All right, here you go. Okay. So the uh, card that I have for you is, um, it's, this is what the card looks like. It's protect your dreams. And um, you are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you're ready to release them. And so this is where um, I feel like you, the ideas you have are are just they're like I feel like you've been working on them and you've been working on them for a while and you get excited and you kind of want to tell people about them. Um, but it's better to kind of hold them to to not just be really, really, really careful who you tell them. Sometimes we get and, and sometimes we get so excited that we want to tell like all of our friends or our family and because we kind of want that feedback like woohoo ah, like and but sometimes it can get to it's not it's not because I feel like anybody's going to like try to steal your ideas or anything like that. I think it's more of people all everybody has their own opinions. And so if you're going through and you're asking people like, what do you think about this idea? What do you think about that idea? What do you think about that idea? the feedback that you get is going to end up changing the direction that you originally planned for it. And when the, when the voice you need to be listening to is your own. Awesome. 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 That was good. Melissa, right? It seems like, um, yeah, the message is the same, you know, and, and Melissa, what I'm feeling <clears throat> from you is a lot of confusion and um but you know girl what goals you have and you have it in you you know what you need to do okay so hopefully that helps you with cassie but i cool i pulled a card for you it actually jumped out okay and it says indigo the person you're inspiring about is an indigo meaning a highly sensitive natural born leader okay i love it okay so what I'm getting from this is that you are a natural born leader. All right. And you just got to manifest things again. I think you've got so many good ideas, um, but 
for some reason they're not manifesting. And so you need to figure out, okay, what is happening? You know, and I think you're intuitive enough to figure it out. And so I think, um, I think you definitely need to um, take some time and say, okay, maybe I'm not thinking of the right things or how to manifest it correctly. And then I think guidance will come to you and then you'll know the answer. And um, my dear, your mom is going to help you. Okay. That's what came to mind immediately. Okay. Is that she, it's almost like she said, and I'll be there as well. <laughs> so you're going to have some guidance. All right. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Cassie, I'll go ahead and change pictures. Let's go ahead and get you to choose next one. And I think right. this, um, yeah, um, after this, we'll do our universal. Okay. That sounds good. Um, all right, so let's go with Renata, Renata Zimmer. Okay, okay. I'm gonna see what card I pull. Hmm. Okay, so the card that I pulled is Inner Child. Um, and the fairies of playfulness remind you to make to, to make time to embrace your inner child. Playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but safe. Um, and so I know your question was more about like regarding finances or health. Um, I, I'm, hmm. So in, in this card, I, I do see it as a very positive card. It's um, it has a lot of um, like I feel like there's a lot of joy in this card. So I think it's um, I, I don't necessarily detect anything major. Um, like I don't feel like there are any surprises coming up for you as far as like your health or anything like that. Um, but I, I think that this is a card that basically says, like, you know, just make sure that you're as you're going through that day to day, day to day thing that you remember to just find the joy. And like, remember, as kids, we like we laugh, we play, we, we don't care. A lot of a lot of the times as children, we don't carry the weight that we do as adults. And so it's just kind of reminding to find that that um, that sense of joy and almost viewing the world in that childlike thing. And I think it'll relieve a lot of kind of the worries. And the more we kind of vibrate ourselves a little higher, that's kind of when we end up being um, more um, where we're able to bring in those positive, more positive things. So if finances are a concern, find a way to raise your vibration and your thoughts around that. And I think things will flow a little easier for you. Awesome. So. Oh, absolutely. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I know whenever you know, you know, they have specific questions and whatever comes through is what they need at the time. Right. Um, but, and I'll tell you, it's very interesting because I went ahead and did the Leonard Man cards again, just to see if we can get a specific um, answer. And what I just asked is what guidance can we give you either financially or um, health wise as well. Um, but it's very interesting because a child card came up and in, in this as well. <laughs> so I love it when it matches. So what in the past that you had is you had a lot of journeys, a lot of transitioning going on. And it's like you had several pathways that you could choose from. And it's like you were out looking to say, okay, which pathway would I go on? But you're really good at one about, you know, analyzing which way you should go and going for it. Okay. And, um, but again, you're analyzing a little bit. Now, what you're looking at towards the future is um, the card that's next to you is a fox. OK, that you're looking at and a fox is kind of a negative card. It just means that there is somebody who may be mischievous that you are. I think that you are aware of it. But what's next to the fox is a child card. 
which which I'm getting is that, and it makes it more positive. But again, with what Cassie was saying is you have a lot of child in you that you look at things from a child point of view. And I think what it is is sometimes that people know this and they try to deceive you or, you know, try to take advantage of you. And so just be aware of this um, because if you are not aware of it and you let people run you over, that's when your health starts going down. Okay. So just know that you need to rise above it. You are very special. You are awesome. And you're not going to let people do that. Right. <laughs> and so keep that child in you. Okay. Look at life as a child point of view and you need to continue that. Don't lose that. But there's also some people that are going to try to get in the middle of that. And just, I would say, uh, -uh I'm the one that's going to be in control because you do really good picking your own journal, uh, journeys. And this is a journey. Okay. So, um, I hope this resonates with you, but be strong, get that, that, um, courage up and say, I'm going to continue to look at things as a child and that will keep your health up. Okay. Um, because I think when you are not following the correct pathway and you're not able to do what you need to do spiritually, that's when your health starts going down. Okay. All right. So let's raise a glass. Oh my gosh, everybody. This was really awesome tonight. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Mm. So for universal, I mean, I, why don't we just pick one card each for everybody, if that's okay with you? And, um, and because what we do is where our intention is for, you know, everybody that way. So why don't you go ahead and go first? All right. So what I got was um, magical, magical gateway. Ooh. Yeah. I was like, I, awesome. I'm not sure I've that, seen this. Get you know, with everybody, everybody here, that's an awesome card. Yeah. I you was know? like, ooh. Because the energy um, is really good tonight. Uh -huh. And it takes courage and trust to venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. That is awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right, ladies. So hopefully I'm, you got there. Okay. I'm so going to leave I'm, it with that. Yeah. I'm going to do divine wisdom. And I got this from Lisa Williams. It says life, and, and that's interesting, life is a series of lessons, and those lessons you create life. All right? The word of the wise. <laughs> so, yeah, so hopefully that will resonate with y'all. And I am going to go ahead and leave y'all with the, you know, with the waterfall as we say goodbye. But again, thank you so much for coming yes, tonight. Thank you and so much for coming. Absolutely. And the energy has been awesome tonight. Absolutely. All right, guys. Have a blessed week. Have a good evening, guys. Thanks.